Hey guys, it's Landon from Refund Horizons, and this is the first video <clears throat> that I'm going to do in a set of videos on uh, BricsCAD uh, Spatial Manager, or Spatial Manager for BricsCAD. Uh, it is a third party uh, extension for Bris BricsCAD that adds some pretty cool JS functionality. So let me show you guys that website real quick. So I've been super happy with it so far, and the folks over there um, have been very responsive when I've asked questions. So here's the website. I'll try to remember to get this uh, URL in the description for the YouTube video, but uh, it's got uh, a, a lot of cool functionality. It's it's not a full-featured GIS program, but um, for a shop like ours that that works with GIS and CAD, uh, it's a it's a great tool. Uh, so we have the Pro Edition, which is $590. That's a one-time fee. Um, it's super reasonable. Uh, so that's about half or a third of the cost of a lot of other uh, competing uh, GIS, uh, GIS for CAD uh, products. Although, uh, I'm going to check out Aries Mapper. It's, it's, in, the, it's in the same ballpark. Uh, but I really like uh, Spatial Manager for Bricks CAD. Um, right now we have one license of it, but uh, it may be that we that we get a license for each of our, our technical users. <clears throat> so, uh, what I want to show you in this video uh, is how to uh, export some line work uh, to a uh, GIS format that will go right into QGIS. Now, you can export a DXF um, out of uh, BricsCAD or AutoCAD and import that into QGIS. Um, it works. It's it's not always elegant. Uh, so, for example, this this line work has some true arcs, um, and if you want to get that to work uh, in QGIS, you have to go in and, and uh, bef before you import, you have to um, approximate those curves with with linear segments, <coughs> and uh, and then and then export to a DXF. So, uh, what? Oh, the other thing is when you when you export a DXF like that, there's no uh, chord reference system information attached. Okay, so uh, it works, uh, but it's not elegant, and Spatial Manager uh, solves uh, both of those problems for us, the, the curve approximation and the coordinate reference system information. So uh, what we're going to do, I have the drawing open, it's got my line work in it, um, and we're going to come over here to export, <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to tell it select all the entities in that layer, my, my segment layer, and then I want to have it go ahead and export a unique key. And then if you want, you can have it export these other uh, properties. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the drawing handle. Why not? Okay, and we'll, we'll go ahead and just do the length, too, so you guys can see how that works. Uh, you can also treat closed polylines as polygons, which is awesome. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go ahead and hit Next, and then it wants to know where to put this stuff. Uh, so I'm going to just drop it in my temp folder. And you, the default is to export as a shape, but got a lot of other formats that you can use um, and I am going to use GeoJoson because that'll go right into QGIS and it doesn't have all the, the limitations that a shapefile has. So we'll hit next. Now this is important. I haven't set the coordinate reference system in this drawing yet which is something that you can do right here with BricsCAD uh, Spatial Manager but I'm going to just tell it go ahead and, and overwrite and I want to use uh, we're in California Zone 2 for this project and uh, it tells you gives you some uh, details about how it's going to uh, transform and we're going to go ahead and say next and then we're going to click finish and you can see it, it, it's doing that it's telling me I need a license because I switched to a new computer but um, you can uh, run this in trial mode and I encourage you to check it out uh, so I'm going to just hit continue okay. so now this uh, let's see what this says here uh, let's see it's not letting me uh, expand that. Uh, so it says something, uh, we might not have gotten all of the features. Oh, we didn't get all the features because it's a it's a trial version, uh, which is fine. Okay, so we'll go ahead and minimize this, and let's go ahead and open up uh, QGIS. So I'm using QGIS 3.28, which is the latest version when I'm recording this. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just open an empty project and uh, WGS84. And because we have coordinate reference system information attached, 
uh, it will reproject. QGIS will uh, reproject that force. Let's go take a quick look at that uh, GeoJOSM file, just so you guys can see. It's a text file. So we can edit that. So there you go. There's all the information in the GeoJOSM format. It's uh, editable. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and import that into QGIS. So we're going to go layer, add layer, add vector layer. And we're going to go find that GeoJOSM file. Uh, nope. Okay, and we'll add it. Okay, so there you go. There's my features. Uh, it automatically reprojected them, so you can see down here I'm in lat long. Uh, pretty handy. Way easier than a DXF. Uh, super easy, lots of supported formats. So kudos to the, to the folks at the Spatial Manager team uh, for putting this together. Um, so I, I'm going to do a lot more uh, training videos, I hope, on Spatial Manager, but I wanted to show you guys, give you an idea of what that tool looked like and how easy it was to get your CAD data into a GIS format. Uh, one thing, uh, just to show you, not only does it bring in the coordinate reference system information, but if you toggle the editing here on the layer um, and select a feature, you can also see that uh, it approximates the curves. So it's gone and drawn, drawn nodes on the curves there, so we have to do that by hand. So... Uh, works pretty slick, so appreciate you guys watching, and uh, we'll do some more Spatial Manager for BricsCAD uh, training videos.